welcome to the session today's topic of the discussion is the introduction and the parameter selection for the transducers so my name is ajit subhash suryanshi i am working as an assistant professor in walchand institute of the technology in electronics and telecommunication department so what is the outcome of the today's session at the end of the session student will able to select the appropriate transducers which is suitable for the particular applications to measure the different physical parameters so before proceed further into this session uh, what should the knowledge you should possess before that is the knowledge you should have a knowledge of the different material and its uh, electrical property at least not a mechanical property but its electrical properties so different materials for example semiconductors metals and uh, insulators these are the metal uh, these are the different materials and its uh, different types of the material and its electrical property you should have uh, knowledge of it and second one is the you should have a knowledge of the electrical circuit analysis which is at uh, at the basic level so transducers so what is mean by the transducer a transducer is a device which uh, uh, which is used to convert a one form of energy into the another form of energy so if you take a example of an electrical transducer so electrical transducer converts the mostly the physical parameters into the electrical parameters so that is a electrical transducers and uh, mechanical transducer is a transducer which converts the one form of the uh, physical energy for example a pr uh, pressure force load into another form of the mechanical energy so that is a mechanical transducers so transducer is a basically a converting device converting a one form of energy into the another form of the energy so if you see the transducer uh, you can ha have a transducer you, you can view the transducer in the two section uh, first section is the sensing element and second section is the transduction element so in the uh, the first section in the sensing element will it will sense the physical parameters and transduction elements actually the converts the whatever is the physical quantity which is measured by the sensing elements into the appropriate uh, electrical quantity if it is a electrical transducers so nowadays um, electrical transducers are used because electrical transducers uh, are versatile in a sense that uh, the electrical quantity which is measured which you can store uh, in a memory by converting that electrical signal into the digital one so this about the transducer let us discuss about the types of the transducers so which are the different types of the transducers so first classification which is based on whether it is required energy source or not so if it requires energy source then uh, then it is a passive transducer and if it doesn't requires any, any energy source it is active transducers so in the active transducer you can have an example of in solar cells piezoelectric crystals and in the pa passive transducer if you have an example of an uh, thermistors so these are the examples of the uh these are the classification which is based on the whether the energy source is required or not so active and passive transducers so second classification which is based on the working principle so wh whether it is a working principle based, based on the a magnetic electromagnetic a thermal and mechanical so if it is a thermal uh, it if it is a mechanical transducer it is using the mechanical principle to convert one form of energy into the another form the example is the albedity second is the thermal transducer in the thermal transducer there is a thermistor which is using a temperature to convert into the equivalent electrical quantity third one is the magnetic transducer that is a pickup cells and it is using the magnetic property of the material to convert it into the equivalent uh, electrical quantity and the uh, last one is the electromagnetic transducer for example solar cell so these are the classification based on the working principle some more classification which is based on the measuring quantity so if it measuring quantity is the pressure it is a pressure transducer if it is measuring quantity is the temperature it will be the temperature transducer and there are different other two types of the uh, 
transducers which are used so displacement and one more is the flow transducers so pressure transducer example you you can use the Borden tubes and in the temperature transducer you can give the example of a thermistor thermocouples these are the examples you can give list in the this uh, in the different types of the which are the physical uh, quantity is to be measured and more cl classification is uh, which is uh, based on the transduction principle so transduction principle is the capacitive inductive and one more is the inductive uh, resistors and one more is the photovoltaic so resistive in the resistive transducer you can have uh, examples of uh, thermistors in which the temperature change will change in the resistance and in inductive transducer you can have a list of uh, you can example as uh, uh, LVDT that is linear variable differential tr uh, transformer so, and in the photovoltaic you can have an uh, example of a solar cell so my question to you, uh, can you list the example or application where the resistive transducers are used? So I have given you the examples of the, one more, one examples of the resistive transducer in the previous uh, slides is that uh, thermistor. Can you give more examples of that? Think about it, write it on the paper, pause this video. So transducer parameters. So which are the different transducer parameters? Is a ruggedness, a linearity, repeatability, and the dynamic response, and last one is the high stability and reliability. So what is meant by the ruggedness? Ruggedness means uh, the transducer can work in harsh physical environment. So it can work in the high temperature also, high pressure also, so that is the ruggedness. Linearity means uh, there is a linear relation between the input electrical input of uh, physical quantity and output electrical quantity if it is an electrical transducer so there is there is a uh, transducer which you are selecting for the particular application or particular project it should be the linear that is one more important uh, parameters of the transducers repeatability repeatability means that whatever is the measurement done today same measurement is you can expect in the tomorrow and day after tomorrow so that is the repeatability. And what does it mean by the dynamic responses? Dynamic responses means if the input to the transducer is changing rapidly or it is changing, it is also produce the reliable output. And last one is it, sh it should have, have a high stability. So a large input cannot make a transducer unstable and it should be the reliable. So these are the different parameters of the transducers so which are the uh, different transducer selection factors so first one is the operating principles so if you are choosing the transducer for the particular application so first one important is the operating principle so on what pr operating principle it is operating so there are different operating principle inductive resistive piezoelectric capacitive so based on that you have to select the particular transducer for example if your uh, project is on the temperature measurement so you can use the temperature transducer for your selection so this is one of the selection parameters second one is the range of the operations so range of the operation means your transducer should operate in the wide uh, range so if you again take an example of a temperature transducer so particular if you select the particular temperature transducer it should have a wide temp uh, wide temperature range means uh, if you are working in the commercial environment in the commercial environment it has a different temperature range and it is different upon the dif uh, different for the different geographical location so if the temperature range for the temperature transducer should be high so range of the operation for the particular transducer should be the high next one is the sensitivity sensitivity means uh, how your transducer uh, is sensitive to the small input so if the input is very small in that case whether it will be the produce uh, uh, measurable output or not 
So sensitivity is one of the important parameter for the selection of the transducer. So for selecting the transducer for the particular application, you show your transducer should be the sensitive one. So one more is the accuracy and error. It should produce the low, uh, it should produce a low error and it should be the accurate one. Next one is the loading effect. If you are connecting a display unit to a particular transducer, that means if you again take an example of a temperature transducer, in the temperature transducer, if you are uh, displaying the temperature on the display unit, but that is LED, L LCD, so that loading effect you have to take into the picture. Compatibility, compatibility is one of the selection parameters. And uh, last one is the behavior towards the unwanted signals. Means that is, it should have a high uh, noise rejection capacity. Which are the applications of the transducers? Electromagnetic, electromechanical, so electrochemical and electroacoustic, electrostatics, and the last one is the thermoelectric. So in the electromagnetic, if you give, want to give the example, that is uh, solar cell is one of the best example. And electrochemical, if you give the examples of the electrochemicals in that uh, you have a pH meters. So these are the wide domains. So these are the wide domains in which the transducers are used. So, so these are the applications. And uh, these are the references for the transducer basics. Thank you.